The Grace College Lancers opened up the first round of the NCCAA National Tournament against the host school, Oakland City. The Dukester, as we like to call him, opened up the scoring game for the Lancers as he hit a turnaround fadeaway from the top of the key. This would be a sign of things to come as Duke scored th a career-high 30 points and grabbed 10 rebounds. Duke scored 10 points on just 5 of 7 shooting in the first half while being plagued by foul trouble for most of the half and the game. Duke has really started to come out of his shell in the second half of the season as he's really started to dominate today. Swanee also chipped in with eight points as the senior as the senior leader on the floor and also had a double double in the game with finished with 18 points and 10 rebounds. As you can see here on a loose ball, Swanee and Duke really fighting down low. The ball's tipped around a little bit, and Dayton Merrill finishes the layup. Duke here on a turnaround fadeaway. Good, he had that shot working all night. Dayton actually drives here, gets a finish. Duke with a tough tip in. Tanner here with an offensive rebound chip in, and everybody on the bench actually chipped in in the game. In the end of the half, you're going to see a shield who plays some really, really good minutes for the Lancers on a strong take to the to the rack to finish it as the clock expires and gives the Grace cuts the deficit to five, 36-31. Dayton Merrill opens up the scoring threat for the Lancers in the second half with a three, and then Ashiel adds another one back to back. Ashiel really played well for the Lancers, like I said earlier, scoring 10 points off the bench, including 8 out of 12 points for the Lancers. As you see him finish the turnaround here, and then a hit another three from Lee Ross. <clears throat> here at the end of the game, Duke Johnson and Swanee really started to take over as Duke and Swanee scored 11 of the 15 points in overtime and also hit a lot of shots down the stretch. Here coming down, the Grace was down two. Elliott dribbles the ball up the sideline. Dribbles up the sideline, looks to the, passes the ball to the wing to Dayton. Dayton takes a dribble at the top of the key, shoots it, misses it. Swanee gets the rebound and put back to center Lancers into overtime as time expires. As you can see here, Duke on the line, shooting a free throw, actually gave the Lancers their first lead of the game, and the Lancers did not tie the ball game until the overtime shot by, or until the game tying shot by Swanson to send the game into overtime. Duke Johnson here on the line scores in his 30th point of the game, which also sealed the game for the Lancers as Plumlee dribbles out the clock.